Oh, you'll get balls deep in that one, mate. This week I went back to the streets. The FIFA streets. For me, it's not just a game. It's a dance. You never know what's my next move. This is the fourth game in the Street series, but basically they're handling this more of a reboot than a sequel. This is running on the same game engine as FIFA 12, so straight off the bat, looks fantastic, character models are great, everything is just flawless, the stadiums that you play in look fantastic, but this time around they've modified it all a bit to make it a bit more showy, a bit more flamboyant so to speak, and with that in mind, the flashier the goal and the more points you get for doing all your tricks, the better it is. Points, reap rewards and levelling up your character to get them better at the game. So basically you create your team in the world tour mode and you can use that team in any other game mode there is. You've got the 5 on 5, you've got the panner where you basically with the panner you, it's all about scoring the more points before getting your goal and whoever scores the first goal brings all those points in. Um, the panner for those who don't know is basically you know faking with the ball and then kicking it between the uh, defender's legs, boom, getting it back, scoring a goal, away you go. When you're going to show a guy up and pull off a panna, you have to be in complete control. Play fast. Play physical, don't be afraid to bang the walls and maybe you'll keep up. Again with most sports games, the couch co-op was bloody great fun. Get up to three of your mates around, a few brewskis, and she's all go mate. She's good fun, some of the best fun you'll have. Like, again, I think this was better than FIFA 12 just for the fact that it was short chunks as opposed to a big drawn out match where you've got, was it, 11, 11 aside. So this game also features the EA Football Club which was introduced in FIFA 12 where it's kind of like a social networking thing for all the players playing FIFA 12 and Street. Um, you get experience points based on what you do, different things in both games um, which carry over to both games also. It covers things from friends leaderboards to the world leaderboards, you know, stats and whatever else you're doing in the game and shares it with all your mates. So for the experience this game gave me and the fun I had with it, three out of five bananas.